for the first time to Calgary. Kadu, welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How was the uh, the trip in this morning? The trip is good. You, the, the, it's uh, you know the it's a little smoky, but uh, it, that's the, it is the time of year. <laughs> You know, and we get used to that. Unfortunately, in the last few years, it's been like that. So, um, I gotta, I, I gotta ask you about your name first of all, Kadu. Where'd you get that from? Well, like uh, we were just chatting, it was uh, the yoga master that <laughs> yeah. uh, pulled me aside since I was so good at downward dog that uh, he gave me the nickname Kadu. No, actually, what what happened is when I moved to British Columbia uh, years ago, uh, a friend of mine had a guy house sitting for him. And he opened the door, and he his head was shaved bald, except he had this tiny little whip that was dyed blue just on the top of his forehead. Right. And I called him Cool Whip. <laughs> I'm like, Cool Whip, man. And so we we started calling him Cool Whip, and which turned into Whipster, to Whippy, and you know, like I'm from small town Alberta, where I grew up with 16 nicknames as well. And uh, for some reason, he saw a contortionist on TV named Yogi Kadu, and I was downstairs puttering around. And uh, I heard him just say, Kadu! And I come running upstairs and see this guy all twisted up, swimming off into the distance. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> He's like, from now on, you will be Kadu. And he toted me around to all of these places in, in the lower mainland in Vancouver. And I would try to introduce myself. And he would just cut me off. And he'd be like, this is Kadu. This is Kadu. <laughs> I've had buddies that I've known for eight years. They're like... What could do? What is your real name? Yeah. And I'm like, it's a mystery I now. I didn't even know his real name for like a decade. <laughs> is that right? I've known him for quite a long time, but uh, never had that. Uh, didn't know the meaning of the name either, really. So that, that's uh, and and in case people are wondering, that is uh, my producer, Jeff Johnson. Yeah. The mystery voice in the background. Jeff, you worked with like Chris Buckben. I mean, the list goes on. And, and how, how is it working with Kadu right now? Pretty cool? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Kadu brings that kind of sensibility. The, he's got a. He's got a very deep, rich vocal, which you can probably tell when he talks. It's it's got a, a signature all its own, but more more to the point, I think, is just his approach at, at country, bringing you know some pop and rock elements to it, but also coming from you know small town Alberta, kind of has a sensibility of that you know country root in in inherent in him. So. Right. Um, a couple years back, we kind of started our first tune. Uh, was well, It'll be on the future coming EP. Uh, the song's called Something to Roll On, but it was kind of like our first song we'd worked on together. And I'm like, we should keep writing, and we slowly chipped away at it, and, and um, I guess we, we came up with the current single, 24 Reasons, and uh, that was kind of like a, a lightning bolt song. Oh, it was definitely a lightning bolt song. We had, we had finished the vocals on a different song called Broken Records, and... Uh, and I was like, well, we should have a celebratory scotch, you know, like, well, that's what we do. You right. know, I don't have to sing anymore, so I could probably, <laughs> you know, in, indulge a little. And we went back out to the studio and Jeff kind of started plunking around on the guitar. And, and you know, um, in, in my old band, I was kind of the backup singer, um, guitar player. And he's like, you're the lead guy now. So he's like, sing, dance, monkey, dance. Front man. <laughs> yeah, the front man. The front man. So... I just kind of started spitting out some stuff, and and lo and behold, about forty five minutes later, we were we were dialed, and we had this song, and uh, yeah, it turned out really cool. Uh, you, of course, you were part of the Juno nominated uh, rock band State of Shock for a number of years. Uh, what was that transition like for you, from rock to country music? Uh, were you always a country music fan? Um, well, you know what, growing in, growing up in small town uh, Alberta, out in Hannah, you're always subjected to it. It's always around. Um, you know, I kind of got into when I first started playing guitar. I was listening to Led Zeppelin and and Jimi Hendrix and Tom Petty and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, grunge the grunge era hit and kind of ruined my guitar playing. And uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know, I kind of went in. You know, I kind of went down that rock path. But I, in, in it was always kind of in the in the back. The country was and and I really enjoy it and as I've gotten older and and become more of a songwriter and and evolved as a musician and um, I just really enjoy it and I enjoy every genre of music you know I'm a music lover through and through um, from all walks so when Jeff and I ran into each other and we kind of he was doing mainly um, country at the time it just kind of that's kind of what we were writing we just kind of decided to write that and then I kind of decided that I would well why don't I sing it you know Mm. so and I kind of bring a little bit of that 
element. I am who I am, you know. Um, but I'm lighthearted, and I'm, I like to keep it fun. And right. you know, there's some fun songs on the on the EP, and I hope. I, I think if, once you hear the other songs too, you're definitely going to hear the rock part of his songbook in these country songs. But you're also going to hear. Where I think what what you were wanting to chase down with the country thing and, and just putting your stamp on what you, you you're basically self defining with the songs and I think that this this EP is couldn't be a better representation of what Kadu is sonically but also of, of where you've come from and where you're going so awesome. well and completely and and I I try to. I've said before um, when I write a song and I'm not writing a song for like oh let's write it like this and yep. let's you know I just kind of write how I feel and what and from past experiences and and so I try I, I try to keep it as real as possible mm. you know and that's and then that tends to resonate in music so yeah. Again, we got uh, Canoe joining CJWE. Uh, you're with 604 Records right now, which, of course, was founded by uh, Chad Kroger of Nickelback. Uh, did Chad have a hand in maybe discovering you? Um, well, I've known the, I've known that lad for quite a few years. Um, he uh, he was in the middle of recording the Feed the Machine record, um, a great record uh, as well, and while Jeff and I were recording, and I just ended up having these four songs finished, and I kind of shoved them his way, and and he thought they were really strong, and he, he passed them on to his business partner, uh, Jonathan Simpkin at 604, um, and John and Jenna Robson brought me in, and we sat down, and um, we BS'd, and they really thought the songs were great, and they wanted to run with it. So that was last fall, and here we are awesome. with the first single, man. Let's hear that new single, uh, 24 Reasons Kadoo, live at CJWE. Take it away, guys. Oh, Tell me so, nobody, nobody knows. No, ain't nobody gonna tell me so. Nobody, nobody knows. Time and time it keeps dragging on, dragging on. I stumble out in the night, out in the night. Line them up till my memory's gone of what used to be you and I. Gonna tell me so. Nobody, nobody knows. No, ain't nobody gonna tell me so. Nobody, nobody knows. Take it away, Jeff. Gonna tell me so. No, ain't nobody gonna tell me so. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 
awesome, guys. Canoe awesome. on CJWA. Uh, so you're on your radio tour right now, making a pit stop here in Calgary. Uh, what's that experience been like so far on your on your tour? Uh, it has been great. You know, it's kind of it's nice to get back home to Alberta. Um, it's been a while. I've been really concentrating on just getting this music together and and focusing on on gathering thoughts and <laughs> appearances and and just uh, um, it's really nice. I got some. I have some family back here, so it's nice to visit some people. Um, and it's just nice to be back in the prairies. You know, it's nice to be driving through and just being able to see for miles and miles and miles and it's it's very it's reminiscent and it it brings back lots of great memories all right so when's the new album coming out um i don't have a specific date yet yet, but uh hopefully i would say in the next uh couple months i would think uh social media where can people find you uh you can find me at kadu official uh i'm at kadu5 on instagram Uh, my website it's in i think it's in process of being worked over again but it's uh, kadoomusic.com awesome and that's k-a-d-o-o-h k-a-d-o-o-h kadoomusic.com um and i'm on twitter with i think that's kadoo music as well so um you can find my personal page as well it's kadoo sauce which is the like the spaghetti sauce and that's (laughs) k-a-d-o-o-h South. There's a lot of brands of Kadoo out there. There is. You can find me anywhere. Spotify. Uh, you can find the new single on Spotify, Apple Music. Um, it's worldwide. Google Play everywhere. So awesome. check it out.